Well, this time, one year ago, we were digging out from 27 inches of snow in Denver. Three years ago, we were digging out or more recovering from the bomb cyclone. So mid-March, we can get all kinds of wacky weather and especially big snowstorms. But on Monday, we only got up into the mid-50s, a little bit cooler than what we had on your Sunday. But we'll take it, I would imagine, compared to what history says can happen this time of year. A lot of 30s and 40s for us on your Monday, 50s and even some 60s in the eastern parts of Colorado. But for your Tuesday, much warmer with highs spiking to near 70 degrees for us here in Denver. This would be 12 degrees above our average high of 56 for this time of year. We got lots of sunshine. It was a little bit breezy at times, wasn't it? And back on your Monday, but it looks like as we head into your Tuesday, those winds back on off so it'll feel even warmer than those upper 60s. Highs in eastern Colorado, a lot of 60s and 70s, even into the southeast corner of the state. 40s and 50s will do it into the mountains. But then, yeah, it all comes to a bit of a change. We get here Wednesday night and your Thursday morning. We'll start as rain, flip over to some heavy wet snow for Thursday morning. I don't think we're going to see a ton here in Denver, maybe an inch or two, especially south of I-70. Palmer Divide, though, in the foothills could see some more significant accumulations and then we warm back up again for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. By the way, spring officially begins on Sunday morning at 7.33 a.m. and then we'll rise on up into the mid 60s in Denver.